Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserviceeye.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, Cameron MCNZ, and I want to talk to you about doing a Git clone with a depth of one. So I have my GitLab repository right here, and as you can see, the master branch, if I take a look at it, it's got quite a deep commit history. Now let's say I'm using Jenkins or doing some sort of continuous integration, and I just want to pull the latest commit from master. I don't want this whole history, and for that matter, I don't want the whole history of the release branch and the develop branch. I just want to maybe pull master, do a compilation on it, run through all my static code analysis, and if it works, hey, why not just uh, push it to pre-prod or something like that? I don't need all of these commits, I just need the latest one. And so the way you can clone a repository and get just the latest commit from it is to use a commit depth. So here's how you do it. Actually, I need to first get the URL of the repository. You can get that from the clone. If you're using uh, GitHub, there'll be a you know get code link and basically you need the HTTP URL for the repository. And you just issue this simple command. It's uh, git clone, um, but it's git clone, and then it is dash dash depth, and we just specify one. And then we do a little paste here. And all of a sudden, we have now cloned the repository to a depth of one. Now, let's just prove that out. I'm going to go into this GitLab made easy folder. That's where I clone to. Do do a little ls command. So it looks like all of these files are here. I'm on the master branch. But now let's take a look at the git commit history. So I'll do a git log one line, one commit. That's it. There's no other commits there. But look at the commit history from the master branch normally. Like it, it goes on forever. Well, it goes on for a scroll anyways. And just to, to you know prove to you the difference, I can clone the repository like normal. But actually, before I do that, just let me show you one other thing. You notice that I've actually got Git flow going on here. I've got the develop release and hotfix branch. But if I come in here and I do a git branch dash all to see all the branches, I don't have develop hotfix or release. Um, I can't even check them out. I can't do git checkout. If I try and do that, I get an error. So just to quickly do a comparison, why don't we just compare that to not specifying the branch at all, just to the depth at all, just to demonstrate you know, how it works. And if you want to do a clone to a separate um, folder, you can just specify the folder name at the end of the git clone. So I've removed the depth. I've specified a folder name fully, completely. That's a tip of the hat to the Tragically Hip. Great album. And now I've cloned that whole repository into fully, completely. So I'll move in there. And if I come in here and I do a git log one line, you're not going to see one commit. That's the only commit we saw in the other clone repository with a depth of one. It's not going on here. And if I do a git branch all, you can see I've got the develop hotfix and release branches along with master. And if I just do a git checkout, it's not a problem. You can see that I'm on the develop branch. So there you go. That's uh, what's involved in doing a git clone branch depth of one. And that's all there is to it. Depth of one couldn't be easier. So anyways, if you like this tutorial, head over to theserverside.com where I'm the editor-in-chief. Lots of Git, GitLab, DevOps, software development, and just any information that has to do with server-side software up there. Um, and if you're interested in my antics, follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ.